Korean figure skater Kim Yeon-ha has become the first Korean to win the four continents figure skating championships. Banks are closely reviewing cash flow at big companies to get ready for an unpredictable business environment. And a U.S. delegation has visited Seoul after visiting Pyongyang. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Monday the 9th of February. I'm Nemo Kim. Figure skater Kim yeon has become the first Korean to win the Four Continents Figure Skating Championships held in Vancouver, Canada. She didn't make her goal of scoring 200 in the overall points, but her win is a huge boost to confidence, not just for herself, but for many Koreans in these times of an economic downturn. Kim yeon has dreamt of becoming a world-class figure skater since elementary school. The young girl has overcome tough odds in slowly progressing toward her goal. Kim has won the Four Continents Figure Skating Championships in Vancouver, Canada. She's now set her sights on the World Championships and the Winter Olympics. Anticipation is growing over how she'll do in this year's World Championships. Kim had suffered from injuries every February, but she's in her best physical condition this month. The last two seasons, I injured so I missed uh, for a contest and world title so it, in this season I try to be healthy and I did it. Experts say there's no stopping Gim if she can stay healthy and master the triple loop. We think that Yuna Kim really has the inside track on finally winning the world championship and uh, having the inside track on an Olympic gold medal. She's, she's been wonderful. Kim has won a tournament in Vancouver, which will host next year's Winter Olympics. She's raised her fans' expectations for this year's World Championships and the Olympics. Banks are closely reviewing cash flows of large corporations. The review aims to prepare big firms for an unpredictable business environment. Some have already been cited as the targets of government-driven restructuring. Banks are reviewing the financial liquidity of the nation's top 44 companies in an emergency move. The firms include Samsung Electronics, Hyundai Motor and SK. 최근에 실물 경제가 급변하고 어려울 것으로 전망되어서 당분간은 분기별로 수시로 모니터링을 할 것입니다. The review implies that the government is concerned about the insolvency of conglomerates. Samsung Electronics and Korea Electric Power Corporation posted a deficit in the fourth quarter of 2008. The financial outlook remains grim. Experts predict that the five or six cars, chips, and steel manufacturers may slip into crises. 미국의 소비 침체, 중국의 투자 부진 이런 것 때문에 총체적으로 수출이 감소할 수밖에 없습니다. 이렇기 때문에 우리나라 대기업들도. Financial authorities are examining an industrial overhaul plan of assisting industries with a competitive edge while eliminating overinvested infrastructures and businesses. A U.S. delegation has dropped by in Seoul after visiting Pyongyang. The delegation members say Pyongyang seems to prefer bilateral talks with Washington instead of the six-way dialogue. Former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State Morton Abramowitz says North Korea believes it's been pushed aside from the key agenda of the Obama administration. Abramowitz recently visited the North as a civilian. He says Pyongyang is patiently waiting for bilateral talks with Washington to resume as soon as possible. No urgency about them working out their policy. They hoped it would be soon and they would engage but they realized that it might take some time. Pyongyang is known to have said time is needed for it to end its nuclear program and says it will begin denuclearization after receiving heavy oil aid as pledged. On the North's alleged preparation for a missile test, Abramowitz says North Korean officials did not disclose details, just saying to wait and see. He says no threat of using force was mentioned during his visit. The former American diplomat was accompanied in Pyongyang by six other American specialists on Korea, including former U.S. Ambassador to Seoul, Stephen Bosworth. 
The delegation spent four days in the north and spoke with high-ranking military and government officials there. The Korean government is to dispatch a Navy destroyer and a brigade of special troops to Somalia to protect Korean fishing and cargo ships from pirates. So let's take a look at the drill of naval special forces to be sent to the African continent. The crew are ceaselessly rowing against four-meter-high waves. The moment they arrive at the beach, the forces swiftly move to complete their mission. It's a drill for the Navy's special underwater demolition and sea, air and land teams. Launched in 1955, the special naval team has been tasked with cracking down on maritime terrorist activities. The small unit of Navy forces equip unwavering mental and physical strength. The small unit of Navy will be dispatched to Somali coast on a warship Mumudewang to protect Korean fishing and cargo ships from pirates. This winter training is special for them ahead of the dispatch. The 30 special naval forces will leave for Somalia late this month following the two-week drill. The ratings of two movies about financial scams have aroused dispute in the domestic film industry. The Korea Media Ratings Board says the film's content is harmful to minors, but filmmakers say the board's reasoning is illogical. The scam will be released next week in Korea. The domestic movie about stock fraud has received an adult rating. Those under the age of 19 cannot see the movie. The foreign film International has received the same rating. The movie deals with corruption and conspiracy in a large bank. The two movies both depict financial crimes and have received an adult rating. The Korea Media Rating Board says the content of both films are hard to understand for minors and could corrupt them. <laughs> Critics are questioning how the board can put the movies off limits to minors simply because of perceived low understandability and fears over copycat crimes. Domestic filmmakers are protesting the rating of the two movies. They cite the age 15 or over ratings of films like Marine Boy, which is about drug dealers, and City of Damnation, which deals with gangsters. Others warn that such ratings could hinder freedom of creativity and expression. The sales of Korean cars and cell phones are seeing considerable growth in the Chinese market. Analysts say this is due to aggressive marketing strategies. Here's more. Hyundai Motor sold 35,000 cars in China in January. The sales grew 17 percent from the same period last year. And it's an all-time high monthly record since the Korean car industry entered the Chinese market in 2002. Hyundai Motor ascribed the growth to the Chinese government's tax cut by 5 percent on automobiles under 1600 cc. The tax break stimulates the sales of smaller models produced by the Korean car makers. LG Electronics has doubled its budget for marketing despite the economic slump. With the aggressive marketing strategies, LG Electronics saw the sales of its cell phones boost more than 60 percent in January. 올해 중국 시장에서 예상되는 수리지 서비스 그리고 내수 진작 정책에 적극 참여할 계획입니다. 그 무엇보다도 중국 소비자들 소비자들의 특성을 반영한 마케팅을 강화할 계획입니다. CJ also saw a 82% growth in sales in Chinese market in December and January. These show the growing potentials of Korean businesses in China to overcome the economic crisis with good marketing strategies. Korean conductor Song shi yeon has been named one of three most promising conductors in Europe. She's receiving wide acclaim from European fans and a big breakthrough for women conductors.
Three young conductors are the finalists for this year's German Conductor Prize. One of them is a Korean woman by the name of Song Xion. She turned to conducting seven years ago after a career as a pianist. Song says she forgets that she's a woman the moment she holds a baton. She's amazed Europe by receiving the top prize at the Gustav Mahler International Conducting Competition. She's also the first female assistant conductor in the 137-year history of the Boston Symphony Orchestra. Zunächst mal hat eine unglaublich intensive Musikalität. Sie hat eine glänzende Schlagtechnik, finde ich. The conducting world is a male-dominated field, discouraging women from entering this profession. But Song has become a pioneer for women in this field, as well as demonstrating the potential of Korean classical musicians. Song finished as the runner-up in this year's German Conductor Prize. Sunday was the day before Teborim, the New Year's first full moon by the lunar calendar. Many Koreans visited markets to buy nuts according to tradition. Let's have a look at some of the Teborim events across Korea. Bundles of hay called Taizip are lit. Kids swirl the bundles in the air, creating red circles. The Korean traditional band, Nungak, play tunes to comfort the god of the earth and wish for good fortune in the new year. 정월 대보를 맞이해서요. 저 축제가 있다고 나왔습니다. 네, 저희 뭐그 가족 가족이 모두 건강하고 행복하기를 기원하러 나왔습니다. People write down their wishes on a piece of paper and tie it onto the hay bundles. Children write down their wishes for their family's happiness. Even adults play games. Men play tiggy while women arm wrestle. Kids try out arrow throwing and beating rice cakes with a mallet. Many visited traditional markets to buy nuts and crack them open in the morning as a part of tradition. Koreans prepared to greet the year's first full moon and make their wish for a good harvest and happiness. The long winter seems to be coming to an end and you don't have much time left to enjoy some of winter's fun activities. This winter's last snow festival is being held at Mount Tebek and we went to take a look. It's late at night and people have gathered to board the night train. These days, snow flower train tours to Kangon province and Mount Tebek snow festival are the most popular tour packages. It's way past bedtime, but passengers are wide awake, having a time of their lives with friends, eating boiled eggs, the most popular train ride snack among Koreans. After more than five hours, the train arrives at Cheongdongjin to greet the early morning sun. It's easy to forget the exhausting train ride when looking at the winter sea. The next stop is Mount Tebek. Everyone boards the train again, but this time it's a very different train. This is the famous sea train on the eastern coast. The seats are specially arranged so everyone can have a good view of the sea during the ride to Gangneung. The train finally has arrived at its final stop. It's Mount Tebek where the snow festival is being held. Mount Tebek is one of the most popular places to go to in winter here in Korea for its exquisite snow-covered landscape. All the way up the mountain, people are astounded by the beautiful white snow flowers in full bloom. <laughs> 
after a refreshing walk in winter wonderland. People head for the snow festival. The main site at the foot of the mountain attracts visitors' eyes with various ice and snow sculptures on display. A snow festival wouldn't be a proper festival without ice slides and snow sled riding. All you need is a plastic sack to sit on. You can also play various fun games on ice, such as pool. So a bit hungry after the fun in the snow? Well, there's the popular Korean grilled pork samgyeopsal, or sweet potato and rice cake sticks baked in coal fire. So how did you like this short trip to snowy Mount Tebek? Very tempting, isn't it? And it's time now for a look at today's economy indicators, followed by world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Join me tomorrow at the same time. Have a gorgeous day.